Chapter 20 to 30. I have walked through the grass cover of the forest and passed through the trees, I will not deny that my family cared for the tree cover a lot. 21 days have passed since the beginning of the Holy Grail War, and three days since its end, it has been said that nearly 134 buildings have been destroyed and the number of victims estimated at more than 500 civilians. This was a disaster for Japan, and the Mage Association may send investigators to try to find out what exactly, after all, the Holy Grail, especially one that works unlike all the other grails, is so important to both the association and the supernatural world. After what seemed like three weeks, especially as this time was hard and tiring for me, I started to miss the cold house a little. It didn't take long before I got to the magic barrier surrounding the family palace, I extended my hand to feel the barrier only to find that the barrier kept me from entering. It is closed. I said quietly, something must have happened, like all ordinary Magus's families, although we set a barrier for safety and protection, but we only close it when necessary. I sighed lightly before turning around the barricade until I reached a blind spot that allowed people to pass even when the barrier was closed, originally created as a smuggler if the barrier closure was used against us, to say for example that the enemy continued to wait outside, in that case we either open the barrier so they can kill us or we keep hiding until we die of hunger. This stain, which allowed the passage of Von Doom blood through his veins, was created in order to ensure our escape, as heir, I know about it. I entered and activated the present concealment immediately and immediately passed through the distance between the wall and the house in order to find someone. I am worried, although my extended family is a group of selfish people with a cold heart, but I am not ready to lose my twin sister. I found my little brother, Silas, in the garden while it seemed that he was meditating on birds over the trees, which he seems to be planning to kill them. I approached him from behind and touched his shoulder, he turned with a panic, what? Welcome, to, Silas. I told him with a smile. Victor, are you back? He asked me confusedly. I just arrived. I told him, why is the barrier is close? Hey, how did you get in? I told him while ignoring his question, just answer my question, Silas, I'm in a hurry. Our father is dead. He answered me while there was no great sorrow. Now, our second uncle is the boss, and he's taken the magic crest, where were you anyway? No wonder he was not sad, our father was not a father figure to follow, perhaps because he did not bother to put a soundproof spell in his workshop, so we can hear the sound of his victims screaming in agony. What exactly happened? I don't know, they told me he died mysteriously, however, now it is our uncle who claimed to lead the family, maybe we are lucky that he didn't want to marry our mother. Hmm, haven't any investigators from the association been sent? Hey, you guys have set up an investigation mission, right? No, he answered me honestly. No evidence was revealed that it was a murder, so there was no reason to place a mission, anyway, where were you? New main mission, murder. Description, you just returned to your family to discover that your father died of unknown causes, and for some strange reason your family did not appoint an investigator. Subject, find out the cause of your father's death, and if it is a crime, discover the murderer. Reward, 100,000 EXP. In the nowhere, I told him as I started walking towards the palace, it is better to hear the story from a more credible party. I decided that this person would not be anyone but my mother, Cynthia Von Doom, so I immediately went to her office and knocked it three times before I heard her voice, and I opened the door cautiously. Victor. She said when she saw me, where have you been all this time? You don't know what happened. I heard my dad died, I said to her quietly. Yes, and because you were not around, someone else became the head of this family. Can you speak calmly? You have no idea what I've been through for so long, I said to her quietly while I used my origin to force my will on her. Can I know why you guys did not appoint an investigator from the association? I asked her again, while continuing to force my will on her. There was no reason to do that, his death seemed a natural death, so either the killer used unknown methods or he was very good at hiding his effects, in both cases, no one would agree to investigate a crime without real evidence, she told me quietly. I see. I slightly contemplated what I heard before leaving the room. See you later, mom, I missed you by the way. When I got out, I set my next destination, my father's workshop, if he would leave any evidence, there would be, after all my father was not stupid, if he knew that he would be assassinated he would leave evidence behind him, at least. Brother. A soft girl voice called after me, I just turned to see my beautiful twin, with light green eyes and black hair, Valeria Rachel Von Doom ran to me and hugged me, brother, where have you been? Why did you leave without telling me anything? I hug her, too, before I separated her from me, I had to do something, wait. 
Did you grow several centimeters in such a short time? Hey, don't tease me like this. She told me with a fake anger, she did not like the fact that she was shorter than me. I need to do something, Valeria. What do you think about speaking later? I told her while I slowly moved back. She stretched out her hand towards me before lowering her, okay, brother, bye. I waved a gentle smile on my face before I headed towards the basement, which contains all the family workshops, and I passed it cautiously before I went to my father's workshop, Warner Von Doom. Well, I have a murder to solve, and a mission to do, what an amazing first day at home. I slowly opened the workshop door. Fortunately, it seemed that my father had not put in place any security measure, or that he had put it in and was removed after his death, however I entered the workshop and looked around. It was very similar to my own workshop, with the only difference being the presence of animal bones and a humeral containing human organs such as the eyes, and also, there is dry blood above the dissection table. Seeing this, I remembered that my father told me that necromancers are walking with death, and he told me that this really involves our family, I never really considered his words nor will I consider them now. I searched around the room workshop for several minutes, and regardless of my father's diaries related to the create a special kind of zombie undead, I did not find anything important or it could be considered a real guide. I thought a little, my father was a cold and indifferent person, if I were in his place and I knew that someone was going to kill me, I would most likely hide the evidence in a secret room where the killer would not be able to know it. Secret construction, research, closed my eyes and muttered in the ancient Greek language, this was a simple spell that Medea taught me, the original purpose of which was to discover small cracks and impurities in tools, but it can be used to discover hidden rooms and bunkers. I opened my eyes and saw that what appeared to be the shape of a door frame had become visible in the wall, with what appeared to be a tin button on the side. Seeing this, I smiled a little, even after her temporary death, Medea still had my back. I approached the door in moderate steps before pressing the button. The wall that forms the door came back before it went under the ground and revealed a room measuring 2 by 2 meters. I did not enter it until after making sure there were no traps. I looked at its contents, it was just empty with a chair and a small desk, and there is a tool that looks like a 3D diamond. I hesitantly sat on the chair before using the note on the mysterious device. Certain recordings. Type, mystic code. Effects. The ability to record audio files, storage capacity is 60 day. Users, Warner Von Doom, Victor Von Doom. I looked at this tool with interest, not because of its function but rather the fact that it considers me to be a user, which means that the only ones who can use it are my father and me, in order to confirm my complaint, I ran it immediately. Greetings. I heard the sound of my father, my name is Warner Von Doom, and I am the fourth successive head of the Von Doom family, today is May 6, 1994, and I just knew that my oldest son had left in order to do what he says is, an important thing. I quietly listened, if you hear this recording, I am mostly dead or disappeared, and you are in fact my son Victor, you are the only one who can hear this recording because I made it this way. About 12 years ago, my second brother, Alexander Von Doom, and I discovered notes belonging to the first head of our family, more especially we discovered a dangerous secret about our family's magic crest, which seemed to have not been made by our family's founder as we thought, instead, he found it in ruins from the era of the gods. My ears moved a little, upon hearing this, it seemed to be an important and interesting thing. Before we get to the point, there is a secret that is hidden from everyone including the heir until he gets the crest, which is that the crest gives its owner a very powerful magic feast, the demonic anchorage, the reason for this was very mysterious, until we discovered those notes. It seems that our magic crest contains a powerful being inside it, the founder of our family referred to him in the name of the devil, in normal cases he had to destroy it and kill this demon immediately, but he was blinded by greed. When we found out, Alexander and I searched for a way to kill the devil without affecting the mark, we could not, but we discovered that with every generation of our family the family members' bodies become more suitable to work as a vessel of the devil, this was very shocking. Day by day, I began to notice that Alexander began to become obsessed with the mark more and more, until he dared to tell me that with the help of the devil we can rule the world, I will not lie, I have been tempted a little, but I still have principles, my dream is to reach to the root, and not the rule of the world, so I disciplined Alexander, but he did not seem very satisfied. Now, if I am dead, then I certainly do not know the identity of my killer, but it will be mostly Alexander, this is if he took the mark to himself, now, my son, be careful, the end of the recording. After my father's voice stopped, I sat there quietly and silently. What I just heard was something very serious, the fact that we are brought up to absorb some of the old villain. I don't know what the devil is, but anything that is called the devil will not be good, and of course the fact that I can't get the magic crest bothers me a lot, Damn it, why does the tragedy keep falling on me? 
Now, not only must I become stronger to bring back my wicked witch to life, but I also have to kill my uncle because, in fact, my father betrayed and killed by him, and I also have to make sure that some kind of demons does not go free and make hell on earth. Main mission completed, murder. Description, you just returned to your family to discover that your father died of unknown causes, and for some strange reason your family did not appoint an investigator. Subject, find out the cause of your father's death, and if it is a crime, discover the murderer. Reward, 100,000 EXP. New main mission, the devil within. Description, your research on your father's murder led to your discovery that your uncle killed your father, because he believed that a devil would give him universal authority. Objective, revenge against your uncle after discovering the devil's new place. Reward, 300,000 EXP. Mission series. I looked at the mission sarcastically on my face. It seems my stupid uncle freed the devil even, congratulations, more work for me. How wonderful. I sighed while I stored the certain recordings in my inventory before I hit my head with the table, I must actually complete this mission. I closed the secret room with a serious expression on my face, after that I got out of the workshop and closed it tightly, what I just discovered was not a simple thing, the fact that the word devil was combined with a higher entity means the fact that what I deal with at least with him on a global level. Now, there are three possibilities, although there are signs of the presence of God and the angels in this world, but there are no real demons, there are only beings such as the Oni and the magic monsters, the first possibility is that I am dealing with a demon god, though I do not remember they were converting the crest's body to suitable containers, and they did not need exit assistance. The second possibility is that I am dealing with a conglomerate of evil and angry spirits, like Jack the Ripper, but this possibility is very small because instead of his seal they could only have performed ritual expulsions. So the last possibility is that it's demon, a creature made of a clump of human thoughts, similar to the gods, that we can say that dealing with these people is very difficult, and more annoying. Valeria. When I saw my sister waiting for me outside the workshop, I said I am sure that she did not enter the workshop, so she did not discover the information that she discovered. What are you doing here? I were waiting for you, you idiot. She said to me annoyed, can I ask you something? I ignored that she called me an idiot, of course, Valeria. What do you want? Where were you all this time? I participated in the Holy Grail War, and I was Caster's master, I answered honestly, as there was no point in trying to hide it. What Holy War? She confusedly replied, I didn't give her an accurate answer, search about it, there are books in the library for something. I looked at her for a moment and waited for her to say something, but when I saw that she kept silent, I left in a moderate move towards my father's office, which I think is being used by my uncle now. Asterisk knock asterisk knock asterisk asterisk I knocked on the door twice before going back one step. You can enter. My uncle's rough voice heard from the other side of the door, and I opened the door cautiously. Oh, Victor, I'm so glad you decided to go through my office, I was about to find you. My uncle, Alexander Von Doom, smiled when he saw me. I looked, I looked around the desk, there were pictures of the family's ancestors in the wall, and there were some scary decorations, above the desk, there were a number of documents and files with a knife and scissors. Do you want something? Victor? I smiled at him, in the previous days I trained my new mental abilities and although I find it difficult in the category of telepathy, the mental movement is much more simple, I focused on both the knife and the scissors and made them fly to hit Alexander in both his knees and his chest quickly. Asterisk moan from pain asterisk what the curse. I didn't answer him, in fact, in the moment that was struck by scissors and the knife, I activated my mystic eyes of death perception and pulled a dagger out of my stock, strengthened my body with reinforcement magecraft and I cut the death lines connected to his right arm. So in fact, the moment I moved my white arms in my mind, I was already in front of him and cut off his arm. Oh, uh, he shouted with pain, and looked at me with a mixture of anger and fear, you'll regret this, you little shit. I know I will. I said to him calmly, by that time, I want you to talk to me about your new friend that you freed. He looked at me, and although he was agonizing and struggling to make the blood stop flowing, he smiled brutally, you know then? If you have to know that since you dared harm me, you will surely regret. I kicked him on his chest to drop him to the ground before stepping on half of his arms still attached to his body, of course, I used the abilities of my origin on him, just answer my question. Where is he? He's in the secret closet behind the bookshelf. He said with panic, his resistance seems very weak since he was easily affected, he is also so weak that he needs a tube to live without the vessel, so please my nephew, do not kill me. I sighed in disappointment, 
I hardly used any power but he easily underwent, for some reason, I feel ashamed that I share the same blood with him, I immediately cut the death lines connected to his neck to end his suffering, I just hope that he will not turn into an evil spirit. You killed Alexander Von Doom, you gained 3000 EXP. You have completed the main mission, The Devil Within. Description, your research on your father's murder led to your discovery that your uncle killed your father, because he believes that a demon will give him universal authority. Topic 1, Revenge against your uncle after discovering the devil's iron place. Reward, 300,000 EXP. New achievement, water is thicker than blood. Description, kill someone from your biological family. Bonus, random perk. New main mission, he is here. Description, your long search led to the discovery of devil's location, you may have to face it, but the cold chills on your back tell you to run away. Subject, enter the room and face out of the devil, without death. Bonus, 100,000 EXP. Punishment, game over. I immediately looked at the new mission and decided to intervene quickly. My uncle said that Satan is very weak so I hope his defeat will not be a problem, because I do not want this to be the end of the game. I immediately destroyed the bookshelf to reveal another room, in the middle of the room there was a wide tube, inside of which had a black and red smoke body, the presence of empty entries for the eyes and mouth, seeing this I assumed immediately that he was called, the devil. I used reinforcement magecraft and took out another dagger from my inventory and used a knight of owner on both daggers. I immediately rushed to the container and destroyed it by cutting its death lines. I cannot see death points, but when looking at the smoky body in front of me, I will assume that its weak point is its center where many death points are intertwined, so I tried to cut them off. The devil immediately pushed himself back and out of his body three shapes rushed to attack me, I immediately recognized them, ghosts, or evil spirits more accurately. I immediately kicked the ground in front of me to turn back to create some space between me and them. After all, I do not believe that my resistance is sufficient to prevent the spirits from entering my body. When they got back to my range, I immediately cut the death lines connected to them quickly. You killed an evil spirit, you gained 3000 EXP. You killed an evil spirit, you gained 3000 EXP. You killed an evil spirit, you gained 3000 EXP. Interesting. The devil said in a rough voice when he settled in the corner of the ceiling of the room, these eyes, the way you use them, I will dare and say that they are the mystic eyes of life perception. No, souls are not a living thing, you have eyes specialized in the death, right, Victor? Hearing his voice, he immediately gave me a feeling that this being is something unholy. You know me, I don't know you. Oh, where is my etiquette? It wouldn't be appropriate for you to call me Satan, you can call me Mephisto, young man. Well, Mephisto, can I know what you are exactly? A demon? I told him to try to get some information. I am not like that, stupid child. Previously, I was one of God's creatures who did not want to abide by his laws, so I descended to earth and spread corruption among human beings. God? Which one of them? There are many. Ha ha ha. He laughed as much as, you know, the same person who gave Solomon his rings, and sent Gabriel to confirm the birth of Christ. You mean, the god of heavenly religions? I asked him with a slight shock, this was an affirmation of the existence of god, even though it might just be another divine spirit. The time for talk is over, boy, I will tell you what will happen now, in this world you are the most suitable human being to host me in his body, especially because of your physical and magical potential, so you cannot blame me for what will happen now. He told me before the evil spirits began to leave his body. I took the first step, and took advantage of my superb physical abilities and my magical boost to cut death lines in milliliters of lives. You killed an evil spirit, you gained 3000 EXP 8x. I took Gibid out of my inventory and targeted its weak spot, before I throw the spear at my top speed. The spear should have hit him at his weak point, but it seemed that he sensed the danger at the last minute and dodged, but the spear cut a few lines of death, and his body began to fade slowly. Just remember, when I regain my full strength, I'm going to bring hell to earth. He said angrily before he opened a rift in space and quickly escaped from him. You have completed main mission, he is here. Description, your long search led to the discovery of Satan's location, you may have to face it, but the cold chills on your back tell you to run away. Subject, enter the room and cry out of the devil, without death. Bonus, 100,000 EXP. So how are the new magic circuits, Lord El Meloy? He said an old man with white hair and a long beard. In front of him, a blonde man with a noble blue dress was standing, and despite several veins in his face, he looked very happy, especially since after six months H.E. could walk again. 
It looks exactly the same as mine. Thank you. I will always be in debt to the Atlas Institute. Remember, although you can now use Magecraft again, this magic circuits will never reach the original quality, and overusing them will cause them to fail, and this is not something you want. Yes, Kaneth said with a less happy tone, in order to hope to fix his magic circuits and nerves, he had to spend very large funds in order to communicate with and persuade the experts at the Atlas Temple, and even at that time they had to take all of his blood samples and genes and his parents to make homunculus possess magic circuits suitable for him, before they are transferred. Of course, they can move anyone's circuits, but the risks to this outweigh the benefits, and even after making a suitable homunculus, they had to undergo a painful process to remove the damaged ones. And all of this would not have been possible had it not been for the fact that he had internal contacts with the Temple of Atlas. But in the end, everything was worth it, and now those idiots in the Lord's meetings will not be able to ridicule him anymore, and most importantly, he can resume his lessons of spiritual summoning and his career. Lord El Meloy called the old man. Hmm. Kenneth looked at him anxiously. Have a good day. The old man said with a smile. It was quiet in the traditional neighborhood of Mayama town, and the only thing that could be heard was the sound of wind and birds blowing, so the streets were empty because the weather was so hot. In Amiya's residence, Kiritsugu Amiya, one of the masters of the previous Holy Grail War, was sitting on his balcony and watching his backyard. This was his daily routine more than six months ago, when his dream was shattered and he discovered that everything was for nothing, and even when he tried to correct everything by destroying the Holy Grail, this caused the destruction of part of the city with more than the death of 500 innocent people. This left him completely shattered, as no one could survive the devastation, after that fateful night, as he was so desperate that he could only sit in this place for long days. He tried to return to the Einsburn Palace to see his daughter, after discovering that Ingramanu was cursed and that his body would get weaker over time, all he could do was return to his daughter and live the rest of his life quietly. But Jubstichite von Einsburn did not let him cross the magical barrier that surrounds the palace, which prevented him from seeing Ilya, all because he had saved the world and didn't brought back the third magic. Since then, Kiritsugu has returned to the Einsburn Palace in Germany once a month and remains outside the barrier for several days before returning to Japan again, as the loneliness frosts hit heart that the snow of Germany could not reach. Judging by the time, he has to return to Germany again. Kiritsugu sighed before standing and carrying his bag, his life now has no meaning, it is as though he had everything but was pulled from it. Don't do this, Shinji. Korea said while his adopted son, Shinji, had smashed new pencils. Uh, but I would love to hear the sound of their crushing, Shinji said with the eyes of a puppy. He knew that his uncle could not resist children. Don't do this face, Shinji. Otherwise, I'm not going to buy you a video game that was bothering me about it, said Korea as he rubbed his white hair. Dealing with Sakura was relatively easy, but Shinji especially loves to break wooden things. Oh, well. Korea Otto-san. I will try not to break them, it will be difficult but nothing is impossible for me. Shinji said while hitting his chest. Korea smiled nicely, he has already begun to love his new life, especially since his new family is beginning to accept him as a father-like person. Sakura still calls him uncle, but Shinji, who was shocked at first, starts calling Korea Otto-san. Regarding the explanation given to the local authorities about the disappearance of all members of the Matu family, Korea gave no explanation and claimed ignorance, as Victor hid all the evidence and corpses of the massacre, so that Korea did not tell any of Sakura or Shinji what really happened here. Although he regretted that a child had to do something outrageous because of him. I love this, said Sakura quietly as she pointed to a pink pen in Shinji's hand. Shinji looked at the pen and then looked at it before looking at the pen again. Do you want it? Sakura nodded gently, seeing this, Korea was worried that Shinji would only smash the pen to bully Sakura. You can take it, Sakura-chan. If you want anything, you can just tell me. Korea sighed comfortably and smiled, apparently that his worried was unnecessarily, but suddenly a sudden realization struck him, could Shinji have a crush on Sakura? I have left the cave where I spent the last two months, and this cave contained the place where the media lived. I am currently 11 years old, and a few weeks old, it has been a year since the end of the Holy Grail War. After my little confrontation with Mephisto, yes, I still cannot believe that he is. Maybe I should have called myself Peter Parker. I prefer fighting the Green Goblin than fighting the literal devil, but what happened happened. After that, there was a sharp family debate because I killed my uncle Alexander and destroyed the magic crest, there is a saying, don't trust the devil, and of course I don't trust his gifts, even that the supposed mom wanted to call the association to report on me. 
Fortunately, my first uncle, Christian, was Magus very traditional and believed that what happened inside the family should remain within the family, I was not close to him before, but of course I am a little grateful to him, and after I made everyone listen to the audio recording that my father left him, they became more understanding, especially after they discovered the traces of evil spirits in the room. In the end, they decided that it would not go out to strangers, and it was decided that nothing would happen to me, however, I noticed that my relationship with the rest of the family members really decreased, regardless of my brothers and my first uncle who took the leadership of the family. In fact, I didn't really care about their low relationship with me, even though they were smiling at me before, but we all knew that these were formalities, and they didn't care about me, and this is something that is proven due to the fact that my mom wanted to inform the association I am Megas criminal, although the association itself will not care. It was a little harsh, knowing that even the person who brought you into this world, and who bore you nine whole months, is ready to abandon you just like that. I stopped remembering for a moment, closed my eyes, and my mind came back to the time I was in the Holy Grail War. It was not good memories, but I was able to be more human than ever during this life. And I will not deny that I enjoyed the fact that I did not listen to the suffering of villagers and criminals and the war soldiers whose souls are converted to evil spirits, and all of their organs are divided in order to conduct some experiments that have a 100% failure rate, and also, to know that someone is with you because he cares about you, giving you a special feeling. I immediately removed myself from those memories. I cannot lose myself in the past now. Remember, Victor, you have to stay determined. After that, I spent my time memorizing and understanding books in my family's library in addition to books I stole from Zokan Matu. Thanks to both eidetic memory and librarian of stored knowledge and swift learner I could save multiple folders a day. Every time I start reading, I enter into a state of constant focus where my mind processes, analyzes, and stores all the information, given that, I suffer from a migraine at the end of every day, but the matter was entirely worth it because the magecraft was based on information and knowledge serious training was only a matter of perfecting the spellcasting and increasing strength. Of course, I continued to train hard and hard, until I increased the amount of training that I was putting in both my body and magecraft, and also, Zokan books are really a well of knowledge and magic, I even learned the magecraft that he was using to transmit his soul, I did not I use it because I do not want to harm my soul, but I know that the technique is much lower than the Akasha serpent technique, perhaps that is why he transformed his body into a lump of bloodworms. Regardless of this, I also started training in firearms and martial arts training. I could not learn any techniques such as breathing and walking, but by misusing my eidetic memory and my other abilities, I could learn both the Kong Fu and the Bajikyuan and I combined them with reinforcement magecraft, which provided me a super martial arts. I can now proudly say that I am a proud martial artist. By making use of my family's resources, thanks to the help of my uncle, I was able to get some information that will help me later on some of the things that I plan to acquire in the future. At least there are still some friendly people towards me, maybe I should think about a way to get people attracted to me more, or maybe not, because I don't care about them either, I am a lone wolf, if we dispense my twin sister, and my little brother needs someone to defend him as well. The random perk that I got from my achievement, the water is thicker than blood, a perk is called, unspecialized, and that gives me the ability to use any mystic code or noble phantasm as long as it does not have any requirements. For example, if I could get Avalon then I could use it, on the other hand I would not be able to use Caliban because it is only a worthy king that can use, and I will not be able to use a Fragorak because it requires a certain sorcery trait, and I will not be able to use the Dress of Heaven because I am a human. However, as long as I can find a noble phantasm that does not require any special conditions, I can use it, although finding the noble phantasms is a challenge on its own. After completing a review of all my books, then training my skills and practicing my magecraft, I went towards the coordinates that Medea gave me in Greece, and I discovered her place after I used the spell to locate the site that she taught me. Her house had one room with one bed, one bookshelf and one desk. I have found many things, no matter if Medea does not like to be invited by the name of which, she still has her own diary and books containing every spell she have already learned, on the other hand she is not a witch, witches are the ones who sacrifice animals and people in order to use mana instead of OD, it is a different definition from Magus that uses OD. I was happy, after all, the special type of magecraft that Medea can use could be considered at the level of true magic power, even that the teleportation is a simulation of true magic, and thanks to her books and notes I will be able to build an understanding of item construction, after all despite getting my despite her level and knowledge of skill, she is still more experienced, and who knows, may have obtained territory creation. I also got the golden fleece, I don't know why he's here, maybe Medea got it back after killing Jason, although I remember Aphrodite wanted it, but that doesn't matter, this golden piece of wool had the ability to summon a dragon, I have to figure out how to activate it in the future. 
One last thing, which is the remains of Medea's skeleton, I carried it with caution and put it in my inventory, although I don't like this, but I think I will use it as a catalyst. Finally, for Mephisto, I did not hear about it or him again, even my uncle tried to collect information about any demon around, but there was nothing. After studying both Magecraft in my family library and Zoken Meta books, the most logical option for me would be to head to the clock tower where I will be able to complete my studies in modern Magecraft. I have learned a lot about both spiritual summons, necromancy, alchemy, the flow and transfer of power, even I have learned reincarnation, mutual perception, and the transfer of consciousness, too, I have learned many things about many different branches of thaumaturgy like runes, even that Zoken was he possessed a number of ancient runes. This was not really surprising. After living for more than 500 years, it will not be strange that he gathered a large number of knowledge that is rare today. Although the magecraft of the Mato family, which is based on the breeding and use of crest worms and their evolutions, seems disgusting, I decided to learn it in the future when I find a suitable place to grow worms, of course I am not planning to insert them into my body or use them in an attempt to increase my prana or increase my life. Expectedly, I will not desecrate my body this way. After all, there are many uses for crest worms, especially since they have many more powerful developments, they are more like ugly and unfriendly Pokemon. And do not forget that there were many theories about thaumaturgy and the five elements, and with the help of both his diaries and media notes I possess a number of amazing ideas. However, by going to the clock tower I can learn more about magecraft and its remaining types. But before that, I took a world tour, I stayed in Greece for several days as I chased a snake magic beast that had a den in the woods. This was the piece of information that I asked my uncle to collect for me, the sights of some magical beasts around the world, I was surprised by the large number of names that he gave me them, but I absorbed something, although they are considered a great resource for Magus, but the majority of Magus will not risk by fighting them face to face, instead they will place a mission in the association, a mission that no one will think of accomplishing because the reward is less than chasing another. Person. Magical beasts were a class of all creatures that did not fit with the biological classification of ordinary beings, and they were unexplainable deviations with immature science or sudden mutations, they could be classified into three categories, monstrous beasts that could become phantasms beasts on the future, which in turn could become divine beasts. From the list my uncle gave me, a good number of them consisted of monstrous beasts, with a few decades old phantasms beasts, with a few centuries as a maximum. So yes, I traveled all over the world and hunted for what appears to be 12 monsters, with about 5 phantasm beasts, so I intend to go. I went from Greece to Russia and then Morocco before I went to China. In my first hunting operation I wanted to test my abilities without using weapons or mystic eyes, and I relied mainly on martial arts and magecraft, there I discovered that although both strength, body, and agility are equal to a D-level servant, by adding all of the magic, reinforcement, and martial arts, most of magical beasts do not have any chance against me. Instead, I started letting my Gigantosaurus catch them, it was about 16 meters and more than 14,000 kg in mass, its only weakness is that he is slow, with a speed of 50 km per hour, which is three times the speed of an adult human. Fortunately, most of the beasts we encountered were stupid to think of escaping, so they die between the jaws of my dinosaur, after that I store their bodies in my inventory, as these things are very valuable, fortunately the dinosaur is loyal for me and as long as he remains in the state of not summoning all his hunger, energy and injuries will be filled so I did not have to share any spoils, especially since I gained EXP from his own killings. Also, I gained a new title, Monster Hunter I, which later turned into Monster Hunter 2, this title gives me a 20% increase in both strength, body, and agility when fighting against monstrous beasts or phantasms or divine beasts. Because I was very young, I couldn't travel alone legally, and I didn't want to wash someone's brain to get a fake father, so I had to resort to illegal travel lines that were costing big money. Fortunately, thanks to unequal exchange, money wasn't a problem as I could only make some valuables out of thin air when the world would never try to remove them, these things would become real. Although this ability seems broken, I hardly use it when I want a small amount of money or rare materials such as mithril, this is simply because I have no fantasy of becoming the richest boy in the world, and I don't want to give anyone else my mystic codes or noble phantasms. So for more than a year and a half after I left Medea's cave, I was illegally traveling around the world, then I hypnotized someone to let me sleep at home for several days while I was hunting the magical beast before I went again to another country. It wasn't the best kind of life, but I really can't choose. I stood quietly in front of the closed wooden door, looking a little lower with an empty expression before I pressed the doorbell. After three years finally, I finally went back to Fuyuki in Japan, and that will be the last thing I do before I go to the clock tower. Earlier today, 
I visited the new Korea and his two sons, and discovered that they were doing well, however I did not come for that. In the last half year I went to the village where the gravekeeper lived and stole the holy spear. Rangaminiad, from Grey, no one else but ADD saw me as I steal the spear, and even then my face was hidden, so they might not recognize me. I could have stolen ADD as well, but I didn't want a mystic code that could oppose my will and my orders, and I don't think I can survive his constant insults. Therefore, now I own a noble phantasm, which is a divine structure competing in strong as or stronger than Excalibur, and also, there is no version of it in the Gate of Babylon. Fortunately, killing other servants was not the only way to acquire powerful weapons and noble phantasms, and also, because of my perk I could easily bypass 13 restrictions because they were not use restrictions, but restrictions to prevent the user from unleashing the spear full power. Also, I made a ring that prevents my magic energy from being exposed, with more than 5000 OD, any magic compass or mana detector can pick me up from a distance, this was not a problem when I was barely near Magus, but after I I decided to engage in civilization again, I cannot be the north of every magic compass. My main reason for coming back to Fuyuki is getting Avalon from Kuritsugu, I can wait for him to die but I don't want to risk that Avalon is stolen by someone else, and also, I discovered not long ago that Kuritsugu did not find Shiro, which means that this issuance must be on the brink of madness, or it is he completely destroyed, and it is precisely for this reason that I am now facing Amiya. The door opened slowly, the person who opened it was Kuritsugu, but its condition was dire for human beings, so that it would turn thinner than it should have been, there were black bags under his eyes, and he showed symptoms of lack of sleep. Common symptoms for people who suffer from PTSD, I would dare and make sure that he suffers from severe guilt and small hallucinations. What do you want, boy? He asked me with dead eyes, I don't know if he forgot me, or he simply hides it, maybe it is that I am very different from what I was three years ago. It's good to see you finally face to face, Kuritsugu Amiya. I told him with a smile. His expression turned to seriousness immediately, even his eyes showed a minimal amount of cruelty. Who are you again? Then you really don't remember me. I sighed a little, it's not that I'm sad that he didn't remember me, I think Ingra Mainyu's curse is already beginning to affect him, I am Victor Von Doom, I was involved in the Holy Grail War. Yes, you look a little different, older, he said to me while he showed no sign of panic or attack. Are you here to kill me? I don't remember that we fought against each other before. Quite the opposite, Amiya-san, I'm here to help you, I said to him calmly, and smiled honestly to him in order to create a friendly atmosphere, this is the first step to not make someone with PTSD get angry. What do you mean by that? He said skeptically. I did some research on you, and I discovered that Jubstichite von Einsburn is preventing you from seeing your daughter. I will not tell you how I got this information, but I will tell you that I can make you see your daughter. Oh really? A slight hope appeared in Kuritsugu's eye, but it soon disappeared. And how will you do this? It's a secret, I smiled for him, but I want something from you in return. What? Avalon. I calmly told him, of course, you can give it to me after I fulfill my part of the deal. What do you think? Kuritsugu looked at me for a while in deep silence, okay, but I need a guarantee. What? I calmly asked him, do you want to sign a geese contract? He nodded, it will be a simple contract, just to make sure you won't fool me or try to steal Avalon before you do your part of the deal, and that I won't deny my promise if you really make me see Ilya again. I looked at him before I entered his home cautiously, as long as the geists that we were going to use were not the kind that relate to the soul, I do not think I have any problem, especially since Kuritsugu will die later, and because I will make sure that there are no holes through which he can deceive me. I could simply kill him and steal Avalon, and it will be so easy now, I can just take out a gun from my inventory and give him a mercy bullet in his head. I was about to do this before I stopped myself. Kuritsugu had been killing for a long time, but his goals were noble to save the world, and also, the philosophy of sacrificing a few in order to save a lot is not entirely wrong, but it is also not right, Kuritsugu was someone who did evil things for a good goal. Well, can we start? This is really pathetic, a male thought with red skin, black hair and white eyes, as well as pointed ears and sharp teeth with demonic properties. It has been a few years since his seal was broken and awakened from his hibernation, more specifically, it has been six full years. Unfortunately for him, Victor Von Doom, the child who he was planning to use his body as a vessel, managed to defeat him in his weak state by using strange mystic eyes that control the concept of death. 
Victor von Doom was the ideal vessel for him, not only that he was the descendant of a long line of generations that had been subjected to his demonic magical energy, but even that he possessed a very large amount of magical energy, and his body is very strong for any child of his age, and the fact that he has eyes very rare it only makes it more attractive. The main reason why he needed a bowl is not that he has no alternative, instead so that he can hide from the eyes of the counter force and the world, by returning to after the era of Christ when the gods still have some influence, it was he who spread chaos around the earth and tricked people into selling their souls to him. It was great times, until Aleya became angry and sent a counter guardian going in the name of EMIYA in order to kill him, at that time he was stronger than the counter guardian but his opponent was using both strategies and tricks in order to guarantee victory. In the end it was the only solution to escape is to abandon his original body and imprison himself in the magic crest until he waits for his resurrection. When he was finally awakened, he was unlucky enough for his soul to be seriously damaged, his plan was simple, imprisoned Victor and tortured him until he gave him approval to own his body, after all, even he has weaknesses, especially after losing his grace. Instead, he was injured and forced to flee to his reality marble, hell, where he stored the souls of those who had been deceived by him, and went into hibernation for several years in order to prevent the damage from aggravating, and when he woke up he quickly treated his soul, before he do, crushing, hundreds of lives in the reality marble in order to provide enough mana to make a body similar to his previous body. Unfortunately, now, if he returns to the world, he will be rejected by the world and his body will start to fade if he does not find a creature to work as a ship and a great source for mana, but the solution to this was simple, the problem is that human consciousness will send the counter guardians back behind him. He can take over normal human bodies, but they will die after several days, and most humans are rubbish in potential. The only good thing is that now that his body is back, and as long as he remains inside the reality marble, he can display his true power, too. Even if he cannot go out on his own, this does not mean that he cannot send another person. In front of him there were six cocoons, each containing a special creature, in order to make them he, the devil, crushed every soul in his own hell, and also relied on the rules the world uses and counter force when summoning heroic spirits. Some of them have skills that even he does not possess, and some of them can display a strength that he cannot even display, and even if someone manages to kill them all by a miracle, this will call for a very powerful seventh creature. In order to ensure that they would achieve his purpose, he only had to give them a goal, free will, which was not difficult either. After all, although strength was not his good point, he could make things stronger than him. Go, my six sins, and please your father, Mephisto said, with demonic and malicious laughter. I was sixteen years old, it has been three full years since I helped Kiritsugu to see his daughter, and I got Avalon, and even then, Jubstichite von Einsburn only agreed to let Kiritsugu see me from afar once a month and not interacting with her, which Kiritsugu agreed to, seems to have been shattered after all. The method that I used is to threaten Jubstichite that I will inform the association that the Einsburn family summoned Ingram Mainyu in the Third Holy Grail War which caused its corruption. The association ignores many things but threats from this level cannot be ignored. Realizing his position, Jubstichite agreed to let Kuritsugu see his daughter, although I can say that he was still planning to win in the next war, and also, I was able to withdraw Avesta's book, the catalyst that was used to summon Ngramenu, from him, and all this to keep confidential information I did not plan to disclose. After all, the association may withdraw all the lands of the Einsburn and get an excuse to move or cancel the Holy Grail War, and this is something that Jubstichite did not want given that the Einsburn's only and ultimate goal is to revive the third true magic, the Heaven's Fields. After getting all of Avalon, a noble phantasm from EX rank that gives eternal youth and a relatively good regenerative factor, and Avesta, the incentive that can be used to call Ingramenu, I settled in Fuyuki for six months where I read many books on modern medicine and science advanced. After that I returned to the family palace in Germany, where I clearly made clear my desire to go to the clock tower, fortunately my family was a member of the neutral faction, so it was not very difficult to find a place for me inside the clock tower. One week later, I was taken from Germany to a port in Belgium in, a cart pulled by two horses, before I board a ship heading to Britain, before I took another cart to London. In an age of technological advancement that has become commonplace for everyone to own a car, it is so embarrassing to drive a vehicle from the 18th century, that even the current carts have a better look. For a traditional magus, it would be common to spend five years in general studies, but I skipped over this and I registered for spiritual summoning and curses. Of course, I, Victor von Doom the Great, was spending most of his time in the library, since in the last two and a half years I read every page of the thousands of books in the library. 
Originally, my mind state is 3.1, which means that my IQ is around 300 degrees, and my eidetic memory gives me the ability to conjure up an ideal of anything I have ever seen, and librarian of stored knowledge strengthens this by pushing the speed of my mental processing to the point where I can remember things I wasn't focusing on, so this wasn't difficult. I have studied all classes of magecraft, spiritual summons, metallurgy, zoology, laurel, botany, astrology, creation, curses, archaeology, modern magecraft theory, runes, alchemy, power flow and transfer, spiritual therapy, even public and internal policies. With the help of books, I, Victor Von Doom, have a library of knowledge in my head. I even learned both, thought acceleration, and, fragmentation of thought, which helped me a lot, with the help of fast learner I can now accelerate my mind by a large percentage, while I can make six rooms in my mind. And I use this to analyze my opponent's movements and foretell his next moves, enhance the eye of the mind, true, memorize and analyze the opponent's fighting style and build an effective strategy against him, before incorporating his technique into my superhuman combat technology. I also found many useful things, such as advanced concepts about the five elements, fire, air, water, earth, and ether, and also, many theories about sorcery traits, and although mage association was only specialized in magecraft, I found several books dealing with breathing and walking as a topic, and although the technique was not developed directly, with the help of my superior mental abilities I could simulate the technique effectively. Walking and breathing was a very important technique in the heritage of oriental martial arts, as it reduces the accumulated impurities in the body, provides calmness to one's soul, and gives the user the ability to use all his energetic power effectively, and focus the body's weight and momentum in order to increase attack strength, stealth, and many other things. With the help of my magic energy concealment ring, I could hide my abilities from the association, and they know that I have 20 magic circuit with each having a capacity of 30 OD and a total of only 600 OD, and the fact that my family made sure of it makes things easier. I was not afraid, or that I wanted to be a wolf in sheep's clothes, the thing is that mage association kidnaps people with big talents and imprisons them because there is a possibility of becoming a threat, and because I wanted to study magecraft, I had to keep the fact that I have 5000 units of magical power and my other magical abilities, is completely hidden. I have also met Kaneth, or Lord Ilmeloy more specifically, and it seems you are totally fine, he did not recognize me at first but when he did, I noticed that he was not happy even though he was greeting me with a smile, but as long as he did nothing against me, I don't care, on the other hand, it seems that Waver Velvet has become an aid to him. New Main Mission, The Unholy Sins of Humankind Description in order to spread ruin and sin among humankind, Satan Mephisto created six powerful creatures to do work for him. Subject, hunt and kill each one of them. Goal 1, kill Wrath in the African desert. Goal 2, kill Sloth in Greece. Goal 3, kill the lust in France. Goal 4, kill greed in America. Goal 5, kill gluttony in London. Goal 6, kill envy in America. Reward, 20.000.000 Punishment, the end of human era, the beginning of demon's era. Hmm, I think I have to graduate. Name, Victor Von Doom. Level, 72. Title, Survivor, Monster Hunter 2. Strength, 31.2. Body, 28.5. Agility, 28.9. Mind, 3.1. Spirit, 116.4. Statistics points, 0. Number of circuits, 20. Circuit quality, EX. Capacity, 20 times 11,640 is equal to 232.800. Composition, dynamic. Origin, determination. Elements, fire, ether, time, space. Sorcery trait, none. Skills, observation, magecraft A+, rapid reflexes A, mystic eyes of death perception A, psychology A, marksmanship A, present concealment A+, librarian of stored knowledge C, magic resistance B, eye of the mind, true, eternal arms mastership A+, protection of the fairies A, high-speed divine words A, item construction A, territory creation B+, high-speed incantation A, clairvoyant C. Perks, eidetic memory, fourth wall, gamer's luck, mental interference, fast learner, infinite potential, the unequal exchange, anabolic resistance, unspecialized. NP, Kazikli Bay, B, Zabaniya, Delusional Illusion, B+, Gibid, B, Knight of Owner, A++, Rule Breaker, C, The Dark Grail, Rangaminiad, EX, Avalon, EX, Dot. 
When I put them fully, I felt the sharp pain coming from every magic circuit in my body, and I also felt as though my soul had been fully opened, but this feeling only lasted for a moment before it disappeared. I stood shokly, I was feeling now, like I was swimming in the water, I moved my hands in front of me in front of me and felt that the world's mana was attracted to me automatically, as if I could manipulate it, but I did not realize until only a few seconds before this feeling disappeared. This amount of magical energy. Fortunately my ring shows that I only have 600 units. And, I will use a shape shift spell on me until I finish this mission, I don't want anyone to actually know me. I was currently in my workshop that was presented to me by the association, only a basic workshop is offered to most of the students who pay enough money for this, students are given a certain level of confidentiality, at least not monitored. Since gluttony is my closest sin, I must catch him first, although I am surprised why there are only 6 sins instead of 7, but this does not mean that I complain. In any case, earlier in the day, I requested leave for an unlimited time from the clock tower, and I also applied for a pre-graduation request, I have been a student for only two years and barely offered above average results, and they will most likely think that I am tired or injured bored just before agreeing, not as if they care anyway, after all I'm just a person with above average capabilities, the only notable thing is the dynamic circuit configuration that gives me more effectiveness in regenerating the OD. There is one more thing. In the past few months, I made a black grail of the grail pieces that I collected at the end of the fourth holy grail war, and I also made a similar armor to Victor Von Doom's armor from storyboards. I wanted to give him a great name, but I ended up calling it a Doom Armor only. The Black Grail does not have any uses currently, but it can still be used to convert ordinary servers into their altar form, or by making new command seals, and it can be used as a lower or lesser grail to call the Greater Grail, and also, it can be used to output Ingram Menu which is in the process of switching to the Demon in the Holy Grail, all thanks to the fact that the Grail is connected to Ingram Menu. As for the Doom Armor, I made it similar to the original Marvel Armor, entirely from Mithril, with a high-quality jewel in the middle of the chest in which the energy stored can be used to attack or defend, and I have added many magical improvements, such as an enhancement of durability, strength, and agility, and reduce weight for the wearer, and the armor can repair itself and amplify the magical attacks of the wearer, not only this, but I put on it Medea's special reinforcement magecraft which doubles the wearer's physical strength five times as long as there is remaining energy in the jewel, and when worn from magical and physical resistance of one rank, the armor can completely hide the wearer mana as long as he is not in a combat position. And I added to him several runes, such as Iwaz that increase the hardness of the shield, and Kenas that increases the wearer's visibility, runes that increase speed, in addition to tracking runes and Soilo and Ensas in order to add immediate fire attacks, and runes to absorb mana from the air most of these are ancient runes similar to those used by Ku Kulain and Skathak, unfortunately I have very little knowledge of ancient runes. Not only that, the armor itself is self-contained and as long as the jewel is in the center of the chest, even if the rest of the shield is destroyed it will be repaired over time, and I can also mentally control it from a distance, so in fact, I built a war machine, and as long as enemy did not know the armor's weak point, so he will wait for it either a painful defeat, or death. I have opened my case. Name, Victor Von Doom. Level, 72. Title, Survivor, Monster Hunter 2. Strength, 31.2 Body, 28.5 Agility, 28.9 Mind, 3.1 Spirit, 25.4 Statistics points, 91 Number of circuits, 20 Circuit quality, A++++ Capacity, 20 times 250 is equal to 5000 Composition, dynamic Origin, determination Elements, fire, ether, time, space. Sorcery trait, none. Skills, observation, magecraft A+, rapid reflexes A, mystic eyes of death perception A, psychology A, marksmanship A, present concealment A+, librarian of stored knowledge C, magic resistance B, eye of the mind, true, eternal arms mastership A+, protection of the fairies A, high speed divine words A, item construction A, territory creation B+, high speed incantation A, clairvoyant C, Perks, Eidetic Memory, Fourth Wall, Gamer's Luck, Mental Interference, Fast Learner, Infinite Potential, The Unequal Exchange, Anabolic Resistance, Unspecialized. NP, Kazikli Bay, B, Zabania, Delusional Illusion, B+, Gibid, B, Knight of Owner, A++, Rule Breaker, C, The Dark Grail, Rangaminiad, EX, Avalon, EX, Dot. 
Compared to the end of the Holy Grail War, I was currently much stronger, although my physical statistics are barely in the C rank but this is without relying on reinforcement magecraft or my armor or combat method that integrates opponent's strengths into my style and using their weaknesses against them, and this, of course, without counting all my other skills that passively enhance my physical and mental attributes, and all my magecraft spells. My magecraft was in the A plus rank, the skill counted my prowess and my strength in using modern magecraft and not the number of spells or knowledge that I collected, so in fact the power of my magecraft is equal to the true magic, and this is without counting that I have magecraft from the age of the gods that I got from media, who in turn is as powerful as the true magic. While rapid reflexes of class A enhance my reactions and at my current level I can enter into a prolonged state of slowing. Downtime. The marksmanship represents my versatility in using firearms like pistols and rifles, while high-speed divine words and high-speed incantation give me the ability to throw most spells by saying a single quick word. Territory creation and item construction give me the ability to make mystic codes and the ability to use an area for me, such as how Medea converts the Raya Do temple to her own area to absorb mana from the ley lines. While clairvoyant is the skill that I acquired by practicing archery, at its current level I can hit a target 4 kilometers away. At the age of only 16, but I am already one of the most powerful creatures in the world, perhaps the people who can compete with me are the gods, the true magicians only, and maybe some aliens and ultimate ones, and even at that time I can use my noble phantasms to gain the upper hand. However, Victor, you should not be arrogant and lazy, remember, you must stay determined, and always move forward without looking back. Now, increasing my physical attributes does not make sense for them because I can increase them through training, and I can also display a higher physical strength than what my statistics show, while I will not increase my mind because, the speed of processing my natural mind gives me superior intelligence, without counting the fragmentation of thought and the acceleration of thought. Leaving me with one option, spirit, I initially thought her job was to increase the quality of the circuits and increase my talent, but in reality, even Tuko Oazaki who also has 20 circles with quality EX ranks, barely has about 2000, while I own 5000 with lower quality. But now I'm sure it strengthens the soul itself, for example, human souls are weaker than heroic spirit, and they all go to the root after death, while evil spirits and ghosts are copies made of ether and magical energy for some reason after a person's death. Of course, a person's soul can be stored in magical ways, but it will either turn into an evil spirit as well or slowly fade to the route, of course there are safer ways like how Ereshkigal stores souls in the underworld. When I raise my statistic of my soul, all aspects of my soul will be increased including its strength and intensity in addition to my magic talent and the quality of my circuits, and it gives me an amount of OD greater than I should have because my soul is very strong, at my current level at 25 points, maybe my soul is stronger than most heroic spirits. I added all of my points immediately in the spirit, since it is the only logical choice, and it is also the only statistic that I cannot increase by training regardless of the mind. Are you sure he is in here, it seems empty. I directed my question to the book that I held in my hand, and I checked that I was going to press it a little. Mouth opened in the book's cover disgustingly, and a long tongue came out of it, the mouth spoke in a very rough and sharp way, point of course. I won't, lie to you, we made a deal. This book in my hand was one of the sins I had to kill, gluttony, the sin that I had to kill in London, the prediction was not one of my strong points, so even when I performed rituals to predict the place of gluttony, it was revealed that it is in a library only, so I had to search all the libraries in London. In the end, when I found him, it seemed that he was not really a combat type, as he was looking for a suitable host, his capabilities were simple because he can link himself to someone, then the host must feed him the books and in return the host will get knowledge from the books that feed to him. He can also eat things like mystic codes to restore the magic power of the host, he has some sort of tools evaluation capabilities, he can act as a personal assistant, and he also has storage space inside it. I didn't care about this and I was going to kill him anyway before he suggested me to make a deal. He has told me something about that when all six sins die, the greatest sin, pride, will be born, and that he will help me know the exact location of the other sins as long as I do not kill him, and in the end, pride will not be born because he will not die. Of course I had to provide him with magical energy in order to not sleep, and I did not want to associate myself with a parasite so I had to let him eat a jewel full of magical energy once a day. He told me that every sin has a different goal they possessed from birth, for him his goal was to gather all magic knowledge, and for lust it was intended to make the largest number of slaves and followers, and wrath aimed to spread the greatest amount of destruction, and the goal of sloth is eating the largest number of people, the aim of greed is to become the ideal being while the goal of envy is to include the largest killing of people to it. Aside from this, there seems to be a link between them that they can use to know each other's locations. And with this, every one of them possesses abilities that help him in that. 
When I heard this, I immediately knew what they were really doing. Anger, sloth and envy were spreading fear and attacking humanity directly, while gluttony who was not a fighter would gather magic knowledge for them. As lust brings followers and servants for them, greed will be their general. Also, they are made in a similar way to servants, so they follow the statistics and skill system and noble phantasms. They were the kind of enemies that should be killed early, so I agreed not to kill gluttony, temporarily, and I decided that the first person I would hunt is anger, because it is more like a berserker, so leaving him around is not a wise choice and will only kill more innocent people. Therefore, under the direction of gluttony, I went to Mauritania, more specifically, it seems that wrath in the capital of the state of Tikant, to Jitja. When I came here, it's hard to believe that it has been five days since they were born, no, this city that was supposed to have at least nearly 19,000 percentages, has been completely destroyed, maybe everyone is dead, since there is a blood smell in the ear. Do you see now so how can be we be scary? Gluttony said in a weird way. Did the local authorities really not interfere? I asked him while I ignored his question. I am sure they did, and I am sure they are dead, he said to me, almost humanly, without any distraction. He must be as strong as Hercules at least L said randomly, so where is he? No, he must have sensed me, he's here see he will be close, he said before he jumped out of my hand and six spider legs came out of his side. I'm going to run from here, I don't want to die in your fight. I left him running away now, and earlier I put a spell on him, so I can find him wherever he goes. On the other hand, I have a bigger problem to deal with. I jumped from my parking spot because my mind had warned me, in the place of my previous parking place a big creature fell so hard, maybe he wanted to crush me. He had a body similar to humans, he did not wear any clothes, but he did not have any genitals either, his skin was black, and while the upper half of his body looked relatively human, but his legs and feet looked as if they belonged to a lizard of some kind while there are scales on his shoulders. Wrath was breathing so much that there was black smoke coming out of his mouth, I don't know why but he seemed a little shocked when he saw me, but soon the black smoke started coming out of his body, a human being. Being killed, being killed. He immediately rushed towards me, luckily I activated both thought cleavage and thought acceleration, and with the help of the eye of the mind, true, I could have avoided it, his speed was at least c, similar to me. I immediately turned around and fired a few gander shots at breakneck speed, nearly 40 rounds in one second, but I noticed that apart from a few scratches, he wasn't hurt much. I was not very surprised, Gander was a very simple attack, and although I can show great power by using it, it will be disappointing that I can defeat one of the seven deadly sins so easily. He held the tip of a nearby house and threw it towards me, but I dodged it by jumping over it and then using it as a ground to jump towards Wrath, I reinforced my entire body by reinforcement magecraft and tried as I kicked Wrath in his chest, luckily he didn't try to avoid my attack. My reinforcement magecraft has reached a point that enhances my physical characteristics 200% stronger, so I could gain the upper hand against it, even though it has mad enhancement. He retreated several meters back and seemed to be a little bit agitated, but soon he shouted angrily and the smoke around him began to intensify and turn red. But the biggest change is the growth of the wings of a dragon behind his back and the horns of a dragon above his head, he must possess the characteristics of a dragon, or perhaps this is one of his abilities, if it is like this then his fight will be really annoying. I expected that he would physically attack me again, but before he took his step, I threw an Argo's wall in front of me, and at the next moment he opened his mouth and released a breath of flamingo, fortunately my magecraft is as strong as true magic, otherwise this the flame will be fatal to me because it mostly has a diabolical trait. When the same flame ended, I retreated, if he really turned into a dragon of some kind, perhaps he got a boost in magic resistance, which means that apart from strengthening my body and defense, magic attacks have become almost useless, just almost, not for me but for a normal magus. I touched the ground with my hands and my prana passed directly to the ground below wrath, and I used to convert the material to convert the earth into moving sand before controlling it and wrapping it around wrath, but before I could make it hard again, wrath used his wings to fly and escape. I looked at him for a second, but I noticed that he started to turn again, his horn became bigger and a new pair of smaller horns grew, while his body swelled a little and his hands became more similar to the hands of lizards, so that his head became like a dragon. Now while he's flying, he has an air advantage. He started releasing mana bundles from his mouth while I was running to avoid it, after several seconds when I saw that he was not planning to stop, I stopped avoiding his attacks and pointed my hand towards him. Hikesha burst. This was a version I improved from Reign of Light, Machia Hikesha Gria. Many magic circles appeared behind me and began to launch quick bundles of light, each shot containing a force equivalent to 3000 prana unit, which makes my attack stronger than Medea's attack several times, and even if the anger is a dragon he will still be affected by this. 
As expected, the anger responded to the attacks with his own body, and after about 30 minutes he could not stand it and fell. I stopped launching Hikesha burst and dodged the anger that rushed on me with his entire body, when I dodged he did not stop and several home remnants were destroyed, fortunately the city was already destroyed or only thousands of people would die because of us. When he stopped, he turned around and rushed again, I took out the gi bid and used the knight of owner to strengthen it a little bit, and when he arrived next to me I tried to stab him, but the spear couldn't penetrate his skin, luckily I was using the eye of the mind I could find out the best way to avoid his attack. He must have the skill that made the low-ranking phantasm and noble useless against him, but I do have the upper hand here, because he couldn't touch me even once, while I haven't used my full strength yet. He began to turn again, his volume increased dramatically as his wings grew larger, a tail grew behind his back while there was a white glow in the middle of his chest, I saw him now, it seems to be a real dragon. Asterisk roar asterisk asterisk roar asterisk, he shouted very loudly, and his scream seemed to be echoing around. I frowned, it does not seem that he turned into a dragon while he was destroying the city. The reason for his great hostility towards me must be the reason for the gluttony to know my identity. My old friend Mephisto does not stop surprising me, and now I am fighting a dragon that is 20 meters high and at least 25 length, I decided I would finish this. My magic circles started spinning so fast that there was a sharp beeping sound in the air, while an aura of magical energy appeared around me, and electricity began to appear on my body. Reinforcement magecraft that I was using previously was working by planting prana in my muscles and bones in order to strengthen them, but currently I am using a stronger version, by making my circles rotate at full speed and expelling prana from my body, I can enhance my body and create momentum strength great and somewhat resistant to the laws of physics. It was not something that I invented, it was theoretically possible before, but it requires a person to possess a crazy amount of prana, which is what I possess, and he possesses a very strong body, which is what I possess, and even then the body will be damaged a little, but I have Avalon for that. It is the time of your death, but you can know this, your death is for the greater good. I told him without attention if he could understand me, I stretched my hands in front of me and the holy spear appeared, I said before I quickly throw him toward the neck of anger. Show me my way, Rangaminiad. I have not used it now as a noble phantasm, instead it has been as a regular spear, however, the holy spear can still cross the distance with tremendous speed and kill wrath by penetrating his neck. You killed one of the sins, Wrath, you gained 3,500,000 EXP. You have reached level 73. You have reached level 74. You have reached level 75. Total statistical points, 6. You killed a dragon type beast, you got Dragon Slayer C. Monster Hunter 2 has advanced to Monster Hunter 3. You killed one of the sins, Wrath, you can choose two skills and one noble phantasm. Skills. Mad Enhancement, A. Magic Resistance, A. Self Replenishment, Mana, B. Instinct, C. Noble Phantasm. Metal Dragon Force, B. Demonic Dragon Rage, B. I looked at the skill list, but I temporarily ignored them and used observation on the Noble Phantasms. Metal Dragon Force, B. Negative Power conferring immunity against Noble Phantasms of a rank less than B. Therefore it is a weaker version of Hercules's god hand, because even class B is not affected to Hercules. Demonic Dragon Rage, be the ability to gradually transform into a dragon-type phantasm species, upon completion of the transformation acquires all the attributes of a normal dragon, but the transformation is irreversible, requiring the skill of mad enhancement. Yes, no thanks, I do not want to lose my mind, although I am not a knight, but I am sure that the fact that a person is a berserker sucks really hard. I looked at the skills again, mad enhancement was not an option, while magic resistance is stronger than mine but when I wear my armor my magic resistance becomes stronger, too, I can still hurt him because I am very strong for magus, so I chose self replenishment, mana, and instinct. Unfortunately the skills of the dragon were not shown to me to choose between them, the dragon breath looked very cool. As for noble phantasm, I penetrated the metal dragon force, because it is really good, and because I cannot choose another one because I don't want to become a berserker or a dragon. I returned Rangaminiad to my inventory, and noticed that the dragon's body had not disappeared. I wanted to search for gluttony, but now I will collect all of the flesh, blood, bones and skin of this dragon. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye bye.